Professor Wall argued that Italy's current economic and political struggles could increasingly become a burden on the European Union. Talking to CNN money about what EU member states could become an issue for Brussels in the future, The Economist suggested Italy had stolen Greece's spot as the source of EU headaches. He said, if something happens in Europe Greece will be in the middle of it again but Greece itself will not be the largest problem in the European Union. That will be Italy. Italy's GDP to debt ratio is 135 percent. That is exactly the figure when, four years ago, we started to rescue Greece. EUROPARLTVQUIRINALEU News. Brussels is waiting for Sergio Mattarella to conclude the second phase of consultations nearly two months after Italian election. The country is still locked in a political standoff following the second round of consultations led by Italian President Sergio Mattarella. Members of the center-right coalition, which emerged as the largest bloc following the March 4 election but fell short of a majority, presented a joint program to President Mattarella to demonstrate their unity. Professor Will continued, Italy has not taken the last years to reform itself significantly, it has growth at the moment as any other country, but it has the lowest growth in the Eurozone. It has a credit problem, it has a problem with the banking system and it has a major political problem now, he added, Salvini on the one hand and Di Maio on the other hand, it will end up in some kind of a grand coalition. A grand coalition is always a compromise. Italy has not taken the last years to reform itself significantly. Marcus Will Italy was one of the founding members of the EU and a victory of two majorly Eurosceptic parties, Lega and Movimento Cinque Stelle, M5S, was interpreted as a bad sign for the institution. Former PM Massimo De Lema has warned the EU the latest Italian election represents a breaking point for the European project unless Eurocrats agree on changing the institution. Mr De Lema said, the march for vote is yet another stronger alarm to Europe and the expression of a deeper crisis of society and the Italian political system, much had been written about the collapse of support of the European project but it is important to highlight that the Italian vote marks a possible breaking point, it can be argued that the surge in nationalism is not a proper response to global challenges but it is evident that either the European Union is able to reorientate towards growth, social inclusion and the protection of continental citizens or the sovereign wave and anti-EU will endanger the very pillars of integration.